<laughs> Hello you lovely people. Welcome to a two-part series of another Bar Top Arcade build. This one's a Bar Top Arcade with a little bit of a difference. It's a Pi 4, a monster joystick, a little monitor made by EYOYO, and it's running RetroPie. Anyway, this build wasn't particularly hard. And in fact, what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you really and truly how easy it is to be able to do this. It's a little bit time consuming. I didn't even have to make it from plans. I just designed it in my head and went ahead and started making it. Let's watch the video and you'll see how I put it together. And then what we'll do is we'll have plenty of fun playing it and enjoying it. I know my wife will. So I'm just assembling <laughs> a monster joystick. It's quite literally called a monster joystick because it's made by monsterjoysticks.com. Now, what I'm doing is installing a Raspberry Pi and installing all of the hardware, including the buttons and the joysticks, in order to make a small arcade machine for my wife. And I'm sure she's going to be very, very happy with this because <laughs> it's all going to be powered from drill batteries. So I've come up with a 3D printed design that allows me to plug in a drill battery. And then here we've got a couple of DC buck converters. One to create 5 volts through this tiny little USB port here. And that will drive the Raspberry Pi. And the other one here is 12 volts to drive a monitor. So I've done a lot of the work already, which is just assembling the plastic enclosure and fitting all the buttons in. And what we've got here is a little interface hat. So what this does is it sits on top of the Raspberry Pi, just plugs into the Pi header, and then we can connect up a cable loom, which gives us the ability to be able to connect to all of the different joysticks, switches, buttons, knobs, all that kind of good stuff. This is dead simple to do. pre-made as well which is fantastic so you literally just slide this connector onto the joystick and there we have it the joystick ready to go and that is pretty much it now we're ready to close the lid to take our bundle of cables so it all suddenly got a little bit complicated but the great news monster joysticks have some fantastic setup guides. Emulation station booted <laughs> and it's detected some game pads. Happy days. Hold a button on your device to configure it. Oh, look at that, snares to gamepad. So, D-pad up, D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad right. So, <laughs> snesdev.cfg up here. If you pop into here and you do a quick nano on snesdev, you can pop in here and you can adjust this and you can disable the second game controller, set that as a zero, and then exit and save that and write that. Permission denied. Ah, because I didn't sudo. Sudo. Nano, SNES dev, right, there we go. And write it, and there we go, done. You're gonna need to understand a little bit about Linux, or at least follow the instructions that are online and available to you. But it's not a hardship, it's sort of fun to do. Happy days. Piece of wood. So the idea is using this piece of wood, the power tool, some blades, a pencil, and uh, a monster joystick 
Oh, that's a beauty. So we're just going to plan out what we're going to do. And that's approximately how I want this to look. So let's go ahead, take a pencil and draw around the inside of the joystick here. And then we can cut that bit out. Pencil's too long. We'll fix that. This is going to be fun. So clearly the monitor is going to dictate the total width of this unit. So what we'll do is we'll use our little micro pencil just to sort of measure up where we need to be. There we go. We're working in the house and it's only fair that if we're going to make a mess, we clean up after ourselves. Amazingly, the kitchen chopping board is just pretty much perfect size. So we'll use that to measure out exactly where we are. Right then, let's get those plunge cuts done. Start nice and slow. do it vertically. Yeah. soaring later and here it is taking shape so clearly it doesn't need to be that tall all right let's do a bit of cleaning up look how easy it is to change to a sanding tool <laughs> loving this tool lovely now. He's got all the rough edges off of it. Happy days. So just putting the general shape together, the joystick We'll go that far in and the screen will be mounted here. So if we sort of draw around that shape, we should be able to make two side panels from this piece of wood. In order to make sure that these two sides come out exactly the same, I fastened two pieces of wood together with some G clamps. Right, let's do some serious sawing. It's taking shape. <laughs> yeah, nothing's lined up properly at the moment. We've got a bit of gluing and screwing to do, but we're really getting there, making some good progress. I'm not entirely convinced about the shape of this at the moment. It's still a little boxy, so hopefully you can see a little pencil line on there. We're going to go ahead and chop this up, make it a little bit more streamlined. <laughs> Thank you. 
Our next little challenge is getting these switches to poke through to the other side. And I've already removed some material. And there we have it. The missile switch now protrudes far enough whereby we can get the missile switch cover and the nut on top of this. Do you know what it is? Yeah, of course I don't. I haven't even looked at it. Have you not? Do you want to have a look at I it? Been, no, no. Yeah. And this is all the stuff that works for it. What's this What's this black thing remind yeah. you of? Yeah, I don't know. Blackboard. A blackboard? <laughs> <laughs> and what about, have you ever seen anything like that before? I haven't, but my mind will always tell me I will and would have had something like that before. So if this played Pac-Man and Space Invaders, what mm. do you think it might be called? What, for this whole thing? Yes. And it's if it's there for Space Invaders? Yes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want anybody else to have it anyway or mess around with it. I know that's we'll get there. Well, it's a bit, it goes boo, 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 boo. Does it go boo, 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 oh, yeah. does it? Boo, 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 boo. It does sometimes, boo, boo, boo. yeah. Well, it's, it's called an arcade machine. Yes. Mm -hmm. An arcade games machine. Right, okay. I've made it to work off of batteries. Really? So it's portable because normally oh, right. these things would be really big right, yes. and they'd be in yeah. a, an arcade hall yes, or yeah. in a bowling alley or something like that. Mm. And you wouldn't have them in your house because they mm. would normally be too big. Yes, right. So I thought it would be nice to make to a small some, one that you, like can, that you can have in your yeah. house. And you can actually use it. That's right. Yeah. Why don't we have a play with it and see what you think and mm. see if you can get on with a couple of games on here. All right. It'll be good fun for you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what if I had a game? <laughs> what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to turn the system on. Okay, so over here, we've got two missile switches. Yeah. See if you can operate them. See if I can operate them. Yeah. No. Only if I bring it up. Yeah, go on, lift it up. Well done. Yeah, and that one. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, I can't switch those. I don't think I will. Oh, I can. Of course I can. I'm being too careful with there it. There we go. I'm afraid right. of breaking something or spoiling something. Yeah. I was watching that, wasn't I? Is it this? So, yeah, just grab, the top, grab a hold of the joystick yeah. and then yeah. move the joystick left and right. Oh, no, that's... Why? Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. Stop it. Stop it. Yes. No. Oh yeah. Okay. I've got to get. To, I've got to get to there, haven't I? No, you've got to get to here. Oh, I've got to get to there, have I? Okay. Dropped. No. Would you like me to show you how to how how I would do it? No, just let me just fiddle for a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, to get rid. Of, you know, just to get used to it. I'm. Where am I going then now to so get you're, here? You're here. And right. you need to, and you need to get through the maze right. to this arrow here. Right. So I can just let that go for a minute then, surely. Why isn't Why isn't that going up there? I think we've I think we've come to the conclusion that um, arcade games machines <laughs> are interesting for the younger generation. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I know my place. I'm the younger generation. <laughs> Cheers, mother. Cheers. <laughs> so I've decided to split this into a two-part series. So next week, we'll go ahead and we'll put all the finishing touches on this. And then what we'll do is we'll get on, we'll play with it, and we'll put it through its paces. Or at least I'm pretty sure Vicky will anyway. As always, thanks ever so much for watching. Make sure you give us a good old thumbs up 
subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, people.